first, a $400 million plan to help ease the burden brought on by the pandemic. That money coming to Milwaukee through federal COVID aid funds to city leaders tonight, mapping out their strategy to spend it. New tonight at 10, Taylor Lumpkin joins us live to explain how it could help. Taylor. Well, nothing is set in stone just yet, but the city does have a plan to get Milwaukee back on its feet. They just want to make sure residents are on board. During a virtual meeting Thursday, Milwaukee officials laid out their plan to help the city recover from COVID-19. It includes $394 million from the federal government, and they want it to be distributed equally. We have committed to making sure that we use racial equity in determining how to spend our federal stimulus dollars. Funds received from the American Rescue Plan Act can be used for a number of things, including government services, premium pay for eligible workers, and the economic impacts of COVID-19. Part of this is to deal with also the negative impacts uh, of the racial inequities in in the COVID disease itself. So far, the city says it's identified eight funding priorities, such as affordable housing, city services, job training, and early childhood education. Early childhood education could be directly for, for daycare or any help to uh, help with the crisis with, with uh, the level of educators in the community. As well as infrastructure, broadband access, small business development, and funding initiatives that will keep neighborhoods safe. While some residents were on board with the city's priorities, many questions still remained, like how officials would help small businesses and if there'd be premium pay for city workers. What efforts will be made to assist black and brown businesses in Milwaukee? We are going to, to focus the business programs on those uh, those areas that were most affected by COVID. Uh, so, uh, well, well, many of those areas will, will include a number of minority businesses. Now, there will be another hearing on October 15th and a final vote on November 2nd. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News. All right, Taylor, thank you. Well, the labor shortage is squeezing grocery stores, construction.